Welcome students. Let us see some very interesting questions from the topic sequences. In fact, we are discussing the chapter sequences and series, but these are the questions from the topic sequences. Okay. Here question is, find the indicated terms in each of the following sequences whose nth terms are a n is equal to 4 n minus 3. We have to find out a 17, a 24. Means we have to find out 17th term as well as 24th term. Second question is a n is equal to n square upon 2 to the power n a 7. We have to find out 7th term here. So in this way we are having 5 questions and we will do these questions one by one. So let us start with this first question. Here first question given a n is equal to 4 n minus 3. We have to find out a 17 and a 24. So if we replace this n by 17, we will get a 17, very simple. So here 4 into 17 minus 3 is equal to how much? We can solve it very easily. 65 is the answer, correct? Similarly, now we will get A24. So, A24 here we will put in place of n is equal to 24. So, A24 is equal to 4 into 24 minus 3 and this is equal to 93. This is the answer. This is the value of A24. Very simple. Okay. Now, let us see this second question. Here second question nth term in general term is given here a n is equal to n square by 2 to the power n. We have to find out a 7 means 7th term that we will get by replacing here n with 7. So therefore a 7 is equal to 7 square by 2 to the power 7. Okay. So 7 square is 49 and 2 to the power 7 is 128. This is the answer. Correct? Now let us see third question. Here given general term a n is equal to minus 1 to the power n plus 1 n cube. We have to find out a 9. Here we will replace n by 9. Then we will get a 9. So, A 9 is equal to minus 1 to the power 9 plus 1 means 10 and here 9 whole cube. We are putting N is equal to 9 here. Correct. So, minus 1 to the power 9 plus 1 that is minus 1 to the power 10 and minus 1 to the power 10 means minus 1 to the even power. 10 is even power. So, it becomes plus 1 positive number and 9 cube this will be equal to 729. This is the answer. Correct. Now, let us see fourth question. Here general term, nth term is given which is n minus 1, 2 minus n and 3 plus n. So, how to get a1? Replacing n by 1. So, this is 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1 and 3 plus 1. Here 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 0 into something 0 into 1 plus 4 that is 0. This is the answer. Okay. Very simple. Now, we will get A2. How to get A2? In place of n, we will be putting 2. n is equal to 2. So, this is 2 minus 1 this is 2 minus 2 and this is 3 plus 2. In this case also you see this 2 minus 2 is 0. So, multiplication of all these numbers is equal to 0. This is the answer. Next A3 in place of n we have to put 3. Okay? So, this is 3 minus 1, 2 minus 3 and 3 plus 3. 3 minus 1 is 2 into 2 minus 3 is minus 1 into 3 plus 3 is 6 and this is equal to minus 12. This is the answer and next term is A20. A20 
how to get A20? In place of N, we will put 20 here. So, this is 20 minus 1, 2 minus 20 and 3 plus 20 and this is equal to minus 19, sorry, this is plus 19 into minus 18 into 23. So, after multiplying these numbers, we will get the answer okay? and A20 is this much. So, that is all about solutions of question number 4 and fifth question, last question. Here, nth term is given, a n is equal to n into n minus 2 upon n plus 3. We have to find out a 20. Okay? So, in place of n, we have to put 20. So, this is 20 into 20 minus 2 upon 20 plus 3. Correct? And this is equal to 20 into 18 by 23. And this is equal to 360 divided by 23. This is the answer. So, questions are very interesting, but at the same time, these questions are very important with uh, a competitive point of view. Okay? So, you do some more practice of the similar type, you will have a command over this pattern. Thank you. Wish you all the best.